Welcome to Brain Booster. Have you ever wondered how the Eiffel Tower, one of the world's most iconic structures, came to be? It's a tale that starts in the late 19th century, at the Paris World's Fair of 1889. Conceived as a testament to the industrial prowess of France, the Eiffel Tower was unveiled to the world, standing tall as the tallest building on the planet. Imagine a structure towering above the cityscape, reaching a height of 803 meters or 1,083 feet. To put this into perspective, if it were a modern skyscraper, it would be equivalent to an 81-story building. Quite a sight, wouldn't you agree? But this engineering marvel does not just stand still. It has a fascinating ability to change its height by up to 7 inches, depending on the temperature. During the hotter months, when temperatures rise above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, the iron expands. This causes the tower to stretch and stand about 7 inches taller. Conversely, in colder temperatures, the iron contracts, shortening the tower by around 6 inches. It's a living, breathing testament to the flexibility of engineering. 20 years after its assembly, this magnificent structure was slated for demolition. It was initially intended to be a temporary display of France's industrial mastery during the World Fair. But the city officials saw the value it brought to Paris and the world. In a bid to save it from destruction, a radio antenna was placed at the very top of the tower, transforming it into a vital piece of communication infrastructure. And so, the Eiffel Tower was given a second life. This addition increased the tower's height from 1,024 feet to its current 1,083 feet. So, the next time you gaze upon the Eiffel Tower, remember its humble beginnings as a temporary display. Despite its grandeur and popularity today, did you know the Eiffel Tower was originally set for demolition? It's a testament to how something initially intended to be temporary can become a timeless icon. Yes, you heard it right. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be torn down 20 years after construction. Against all odds, it transformed from a temporary showpiece to a permanent fixture, an essential radio hub. Today, it is hard to imagine the Parisian skyline without the Eiffel Tower. Now, let's delve into some of the more colorful aspects of the Eiffel Tower. If you think this iconic structure has always sported its elegant shade of brown, think again. The Eiffel Tower has had quite a few makeovers since its inception. Initially, the Iron Lady was coated in a vibrant shade of yellow, but since 1968, it has been donned in its signature Eiffel Tower brown. The top is slightly darker, giving the tower a subtle ombre effect. But did you know this massive structure can only be painted by hand? That's right. Every seven years, a team of 50 painters armed with 60 tons of paint work meticulously to keep the tower looking its best. That's 19 repaintings to date, with the most recent one giving it a golden glow for the 2024 Olympics. Indeed, maintaining the Eiffel Tower's grandeur is no small feat. From a structure set for demolition to one of the world's most visited monuments, the Eiffel Tower has come a long way. Today, the tower is more than just a stunning piece of architecture. It's a symbol of innovation, resilience, and the enduring allure of Paris itself. Let's journey through the tower, shall we? At its base, you'll find 72 names engraved in golden glory. These are the mathematicians, scholars, and scientists whose work contributed to the tower's successful construction. It's a tribute to the collective intelligence that gave birth to this iconic structure. As we ascend to the first section, sitting at 189 feet, you'll find an observation area, a gift shop, and the restaurant Madame Brasserie. There's even a glass floor that offers a thrilling view of the city beneath your feet. The second section, at 379 feet, houses another observation deck, where you can see the Louvre and the Arc de Triomphe, along with the Michelin-starred restaurant Le Jules Verne. Then, for the bravest among us, the third section awaits at 905 feet. Here, you can toast your ascent with a glass of champagne from the bar a Champagne, all while taking in the breathtaking views of the city, Every evening, the Eiffel Tower puts on a dazzling display. For the first five minutes of every hour, the tower lights up with 20,000 bulbs, its beacon shining over Paris. But before you rush to capture this spectacle for commercial purposes, remember, the tower's light display is an artwork protected by copyright laws. Finally, nestled within the tower is a secret worth sharing. Gustave Eiffel's private apartment. Perched at a thousand feet and overlooking the Parc du Champ de Mar, this once secretive space is now a bragworthy spot for visitors. Whether you're sipping champagne at 905 feet or simply gazing up from the ground, the Eiffel Tower continues to captivate us with its timeless charm. Before we wrap up, let's revisit some of the most intriguing facts about the Eiffel Tower. 
its height fluctuates with the temperature, it narrowly escaped demolition, and the painting process is a monumental task. Oh, and don't forget Gustav Eiffel's secret apartment nestled within its iron framework. From its construction to the present day, the Eiffel Tower remains a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of the city it so proudly stands over. Thank you for joining us on this journey through its rich history. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.